You're watching the UBTV election series and I'm Alex. Today it's time to meet the Labour Party. Now, Labour grew out of the trade unionist movement and used to represent strongly socialist ideals. However, now they're more of a centre-left mainstream political party. Now it's time to meet the Labour candidate for Bristol West. Thangam Debonair has spent most of her adult life working in domestic violence prevention. She's a keen promoter of gender equality and, to add another string to her bow, used to be a professional cellist. So let's see if Thangam thinks, or still thinks, that things can only get better. So my name is Thangham Debonair, I'm the Labour Party's parliamentary candidate to be the Member of Parliament for Bristol West, which is my home. I've lived in Bristol West since 1991 in the uh, lovely place called St Werburgh's. I've worked as a practitioner, policymaker, uh, lobbyist and activist, um, and I've spent 26 years doing domestic violence prevention work. And now I'm a Labour Party candidate. I can't remember not being in the Labour Party. <laughs> Um, I was brought up in a very Labour household because of those values. I was brought up to believe that those values were part of who we were as a family, um, part of my identity. I joined the Labour Party I think when I was 18. Um, I've been a member pretty much my whole life ever since, so that's a long time. Um, my campaign office is in Lawrence Hill, and Lawrence Hill is one of the poorest parts of the entire country. It's a, a ward full of hope and promise, and it's also a ward in which one in two children are living in poverty. And the reason my campaign office is there is because that's where, in the constituency, there's the greatest need of a change of government. Um, okay, so uh, students, obviously we've got uh, the Bristol students is our main audience. Yeah. What do you personally and locally plan to do for young people and what does your party as a whole stand to do for young people? Cutting student fees for students to, from 9,000 to 6,000 is an achievable aim, but also reforming the private rent market. So that helps people, and particularly young people, across the entire constituency. A lot of students have said to me that they're the ones who are very badly affected by insecure housing, uh, by poor landlords uh, or by landlords that don't look after the property properly. We will also be banning unpaid internships that last more than four weeks. I think four weeks is enough. Other issues for women, I think there's a big pay gap. There's still a pay gap for a lot of women in this city and Labour Party, we're going to be monitoring pay gaps in medium to large firms. We need to get the economy moving and moving in a fair way. Uh, so we do know there are going to be some cuts because we do want to get the deficit down and George Osborne has cut so fast that it's actually hurt the economy, it's starved the economy of real growth. So our principle is a fair economy that works for working people. And if you had to uh, DJ in any club in Bristol, Ever. what would it be? <laughs> That's really difficult. I, mean, I used to have a great... Uh, I remember some fun nights at Lakota. I mean, it's been a long time. I most of the time now I just want to have a lie down and a cup of tea. Um, but I did used to enjoy Lakota. Uh, so it was a beautiful club. Um, I'm sure it still is. I'm sure it still is. Supporting Thangham is Darren Jones. Born and raised on a council estate in Bristol, he was the first in his family to go to university. He is now a technology lawyer. So as you say, my name is Darren Jones, running as the Labour Party candidate in Bristol North West, which is the constituency that I was born and grew up in, so it's my home constituency. Uh, we've never had an MP before in Bristol North West that is from the constituency, so I'll be the first if I'm elected. Parents and young people today are, for the first time, concerned that their kids aren't going to do as well as their parents did, and we want to take some steps to make sure that that's not the case. So, you know, if you're in your first year at Bristol Uni, uh, and a Labour government comes in, you will benefit from the drop in tuition fees and the increase in maintenance grants for those who have them as well. You know, we're told that the economy is fixed, but it isn't. You know, when we talk about the cost of living crisis, it's not just the campaign slogan, it's a recognition that the economy is currently only working for the few at the top and not the many around the country. That's why David Cameron and George Osborne had to borrow so much money, 413 billion, just to pay the day to day bills in the last four years, because the amount of taxation coming in has gone down every year. So what we've said in the Labour Party is we want a successful economy with people on higher wages paying more tax, with businesses doing well and paying more tax, and investing into infrastructure projects that generate wealth so that we can make sure and maintain well-funded schools and hospitals. Listen carefully.